Hello and welcome friends. In this particular module, I wish to discuss about the availability of the equipment for reduction of the size and segregation of various components of municipal solid waste. We will broadly touch the various equipment used for the waste transformation, separation, size reduction and various factors that are affecting the selection of the equipment and the techniques for waste processing. So as you learn the content, you will be able to state the variety of the equipment that is available for the size reduction as well as the separation of the municipal solid waste. State working principles of waste alteration equipment and also factors affecting selection of the technique. In last two presentations, we discussed about the basics of waste processing and need of pre-sorting before going for any specific processing technique with some specific objective. As we discuss some of the techniques, at most of such techniques, the need of reduction of size of the waste components was emphasized. Hence, in this particular presentation, we will just get acquainted with the range of the equipment that are available for size reduction. As you see here, there are various equipment like grinders, cheapers, jaw crushers, rasp mill, shredder, cutter, hammer wheel, and hydro pulper. Here, this list is not just limited. I am trying to make you aware that what kind of the equipment are available and what is their mode of application and where we can use it. So the way you see here, the mode of the action is grinding, mashing, cutting, slicing, shredding, tearing, breaking and such operation for any of such equipment. Also, all this particular kind of the equipment will be available and where these are to be used will solely depend on the person who is designing that waste treatment management operation. So as you see here, most of the equipment can be used for processing of variety of the municipal solid waste. Here the grinders can be used for breaking the organic residential solid waste. Even the cheapers can be used for cutting slicing of the paper, cardboard, yard waste old plastic. Certain glass and such things can also be broken through the grinders for anaerobic digesters and such things we can go for shredding of the moist and organic waste. 
the specific use of the hydropulper could be for palpable best and the way you see here these particular cheapers, jaw crushers and such equipment are essentially using the variety of the teeth which are mounted normally on the axle having cylindrical shape so that from the west is fed from the top it is peered apart it is shredded it is sliced in its container by making use of variety of the mechanisms so here as you see it could be having certain stationary job moving job which is moved in the forward and the backward direction through certain mechanisms through the rotation of the flywheel in turn which is rotated through some motor so here the feed is provided from the top end and accordingly the vest can be say broken into smaller parts to the requisite size. There are a variety of the grinders and the beauty of the grinder is it can be manually driven, it could be energy driven and it can have variety of the applications, it can be placed in the municipal solid waste processing chain according to the requirement with the requisite capacity. So the way you see here, some say domestic hand operator grinder is available say for example food waste. In order to dispose of the food waste, say peels of fruits, vegetables, cuttings and such things one can make use of some such kind of a food waste disposal. This could be used at commercial establishment, say for example, certain restaurants or say tea stalls where that waste cups needs to be shredded in order to reduce their particular value or for the transportation so one can make use of such kind of the plastic grinder disposal. We can have such kind of the facility at the transfer station, material recovery facility as well as even the landfill and even the point of the generation in the commercial establishments like timber mill. So, this grinder is very valuable asset in MSW operation to ensure the effective size reduction or processing of the waste. The material could be fed through conveyors. The way you see here in this wood waste grinder, material is being fed through conveyor. Even one can make use of the crane like mechanism in order to feed that. But mostly here, it can be fed through gravity mechanisms. It can also be augmented with the variable speeds, variety of the changeable blades, even the screens and it can be set, operated through number of automated techniques. It rotates at very high revolutions creating the cutter speed, breaking the organic material and forcing it through pre-selected screen size. Depending on the requirement, we can go for very small particle size, say 2.5 cm, as well it can be used even to have the particles of 20 cm. The size such as 2.5 cm and 20 cm and the range in between depends on the quantity and the type of the material, the size of the facility and 
the kind of the processing that we wish to go for. It can feature up to 1200 horsepower electrical drives with 50 to 100 tons per hour capacity and the equipment as such are very sturdy. It can have the life of 20 plus years. While processing the municipal solid waste, the use of the compactors to reduce the size is also inevitable. One can go for the low pressure compaction or high pressure compaction. The low pressure compaction is characterized by applying the pressure the tune of 7 kg per centimeter square and less whereas high pressure compactors employ more than this. Here the low pressure compactors can be used at individual establishment say residential complexes or certain multi-purpose halls and some similar facility where the waste needs to be compacted to the required extent. Whereas, if we consider certain say common facility, say for example, shredding the paper and sending it to the pulp mill or shredding the textile and sending it to certain energy recovery center, shredding the cardboard and such things. So under such circumstances, these high pressure compactors will be very useful. So usually such kind of the facilities are provided at transfer stations and even the residential as well as commercial establishments. As far as developed countries are concerned, use of the balers in order to compact the kind of day-to-day -day generated best is very common. Also, in order to convert the size to the smaller pieces, one can make use of the shredder. Many applications expect uniform size of the field. So under that circumstances, the shredder-like equipment would be very useful. However, the way I discussed about the Size reduction does not necessarily imply the value reduction, especially for cotton, textile and plastic, which are fluffy in nature. They flare up. However, for many best, we prefer to have their particular size reduced through the shredding operations. Usually, such kind of the operation is expected to be done before, say, landfilling or recycling or composting, anaerobic digestion and the similar facilities. One empirical relationship is established by bond in order to determine the power requirement for shredder. So we can make use of this expression 10 wi into bracket 1 by root lp minus 1 by root l where this wi is empirical constant. Its value could be variable depending on the kind of the material that we wish to shred. So this particular table gives the various indices meant for the variety of the material. This lp is the size of the product in micrometer which is 80% finer and lf is also the size of the feed in micrometer which is 80% finer. So this kind of the expression can be used in order to determine the power requirement. Say for example, if we refer to this particular data, 100 ton per day MSW with 18th percentile 30 centimeter and product with 18th percentile of 1.7 centimeter. For municipal solid waste, these bonds index is 400, so same value can be adopted. So here, this 
as we substitute this in this particular expression, W can be worked out as 23.37 kilowatt hour per ton and it would be expressed as or the given capacity, the power requirement works out to be 97.39 kilowatt. Also, it can be converted into the HP as 130.6. One of the other equipment is RASPIT. This one is beneficial for the treatment of the bust, especially in the composting facility. Here the mechanism, as you see, there is feed inlet. There is a rotor through this particular motor like assembly. So accordingly as the vest is fed, it will work in this continuous manner. First phase easily spreadables and second one certain tough materials. However, such kind of the equipment takes time. And as other better options are available, say for example, hammer mill, the use of the rasp mill is mostly obsolete. This is very easier operation. The way you see there is axle which is provided with certain rotating motion in the cylindrical casing. So this particular hammers will be swinging because of the rotation. The vest being fed will be simply broken in between the guide and this particular breaking plate because of the high speed rotating hammers. So this particular feed is passed through the screenings which are dropped at the bottom and they can be further sent for requisite operation. This is hydropulper. Essentially, we make use of this particular hydropulper for making the pulp of paper, cardboard and such things. So as the material is fed and as it is subjected to the rotary motion of such kind of the blades, the material which is shredded through the action of the blades will be transformed into the slurry and the content which is not Shredable, say in the form of metal, glass, and such things, these are returned through certain shoots so that its content would be removed. So, this rejected material, as it passes down, it can be separated from the process whereas the slurry could be sent for the next processing operation. As we got acquainted with some of the equipment as well as associated techniques, as we see some such flow chart which is given by Sanderson. We can see here that the equipment are being placed at various level with requisite actions. Hence, even one can make use of some other techniques in order to have the particular object to satisfy. 
Say for example, illuminator is the device which can separate the particles in two or more groups. So the way you see here, the vest is being fed, which is moving across the fluid stream. So as the settling velocity is balanced with the upward moving stream, the particle becomes stationary and as it moves through the fluid, it will be getting separated out of this particular illuminator. Hence, through this irritation, fine particles as well as coarse particles would be removed by taking advantage of their density and corresponding settling velocities. Also, if we are thinking of say paper or some wood like material in order to generate the energy before burning there is a need to have the moisture content reduced. For that we can apply the heat hence we can go for the drying like operation. If the water content is too high we can go for centrifugation or filtration like techniques in order to bring down that particular water level down. Also we can go for certain ballistic separations which makes use of inertia. So inertia separates the constituents based on the density as well as even the elasticity differences. One can make use of certain cascade mills which comprises of certain conical drum having some steel balls which are partly filled so as the balls rotate at the optimum rotation of say 40 to 20 rpm because of the action of that particular balls the particles would be getting reduced in their particular size. One can typically make use of the flotation technique in order to have the material separated through their densities. Even the separation of the various types of the plastic form granular mixture is accomplished by making use of centrifugal force within the hydrochlorine like equipment. So, as you see, there are variety of the equipment as well as variety of the techniques which could be adopted at variety of the levels, at variety of the pluses. So, each equipment will be having some specific operation and it needs to be employed best on the objective of the waste management. However, in addition to the mode of action, the capacity of the equipment, the specific objective with which it is employed, we can have certain general factors which will be affecting the selection of the equipment and processing techniques. So, firstly, it must be having the capability, we must be able to bring about the desired improvement in that particular waste component. It should be attracting the least maintenance, the technology should be reliable, it should be time proven. If we consider certain equipment, the indigenous technologies would be more better.
because the services are locally available. There could be a number of laborers who would be working unknowingly with the equipment if they are not properly trained. Still, there should be some safety margin to protect the unskilled laborers. The equipment should be having the requisite efficiency. It should be performing for the variety of the best over the variety of the times in all seasons in all atmospheric conditions it must not cause the hazard to environment especially the emission of the particulate also the noise levels it must not cause the health hazards yet the operation must be economical as well as the look of that particular equipment should be acceptable though we consider the technical aspects as well as certain general factors associated with the processing equipment as well as processing technique as we know the nature of the solid waste and its component is dynamic process it is variable so one needs to have the proper data collection related with the particular technique equipment studied for its performance in the real situation before arriving at the particular strategy for management of the best so thanks for your attention i hope the discussion that we made for the selection of the equipment in the light of the processing technique and technologies is clear to you so as we move ahead in the next presentation we will speak about refuse derived fuel thank you